everyone! Today we're going to be doing my 2016 favorites. Okay, so I don't know really how the favorites videos go, especially for the whole year. Like, is it products that just came out that year? I don't know. So I'm just doing it my way, which is the products that I used the most in 2016, whether or not they came out that year or not, because a lot of these products I'm pretty sure did not. Some of them did, but some of them didn't even come out that year in their older products. These are products that I used throughout the year. So I could have used them a ton earlier in the year, but now I've found a different palette that I use, but I don't really want to use that palette. I want to use what I used the whole year. So, oh, and another part to this is I'm going to do my drugstore favorite and my high-end favorite. So you will be able to see in both price ranges what my favorites were. Let's get started because I'm trying not to make this video very long because it is certainly going to be long. Hopefully not though, if I can speed through these. I have got a huge, ooh, I just bumped you guys, crate full. And I am just going to start with kind of how I do my face. So I'm gonna start with foundation. Now, this one was super hard because, well, let's just face it. I love foundation, I have a lot of it. I'm not doing just my one, I'm doing, I believe I have, I'll explain why. So the first one is Estee Lauder Double Wear. And I want a matte, full coverage foundation. This is my go-to. But when I want a luminous foundation, the IT Cosmetics CC Cream. You can tell it's like almost gone. So these are my two high end. I love them both. I love this one. Even with dry skin, this one works amazing. And this one has 50 plus sunscreen, which is amazing. And it's high coverage, it's not, super sheer which I love. Now the drugstore ones, I have Pond's Luminous Finish BB Cream and I wore this mostly during the summertime because it does have SPF in it and it's luminous and it's light. It's not um, a heavy foundation. So this would be kind of the dupe to the IT Cosmetics is the Pond's. The other one is the L'Oreal Infallible line. I love the whole line. I love the matte, I love the luminous, and I even really, I know some people don't, but I like the total coverage as long as you, you know, moisturize before, because it is um, a matte foundation. So, I love those. Um, they both work well on dry skin, luminous, uh, not luminous, so that's the reason why I have kind of a few foundations. Okay, so the second thing is eyebrows. The only drugstore thing that I actually used for my eyebrows this year was the NYX Micro Brow Pencil, and I really, really did like it. I probably would repurchase it, but the only thing that I did not like about this is it was a little bit more on the warm side than Anastasia's products are, which means it has a little bit more of red to it than like a gray. And for me, because I have cool tone hair, I really like to stick with grayish colors. So that is the drugstore. And the high end, of course, the Anastasia brow pomades. I love these, especially if you don't have very much eyebrow hair and you're kind of drawing your own on. These are really nice to use. I use them every day. I have ebony. And then for the front part of my brow, like I'll use ebony all back here. And then for the front part of my brow, I use ash brown. So those are my ultimate favorite. I love these. They're just amazing. I'm sorry if this feels rushed, but I am trying to get through a lot of product and keep the video short for you guys. Concealer. My number one drugstore concealer was Maybelline Superstay Better Skin. I have dry under eyes, so I like a more emollient concealer. Emollient? Emollient. Did I say that right? Oh my gosh. I might be saying that wrong. It's late. And I love the Dofa applicator because I like just putting it on myself. I hate the squeezy tubes. I don't like the squeezy tubes. And I, I actually don't even like the pumps because you always get too much. I don't use very much because I'm creasing under my eyes and I don't want to cake a whole bunch on under there. This is high coverage and it's a light texture. Now, the high-end one that I used mostly throughout this year, I don't use it anymore. One, because I'm out, and two, because I just have other ones that I'm trying, and I don't like to buy high-end and then never use it again. But, so it is gone. It is the Naked Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. And the reason why I really like this one is because I don't like to pile makeup on my face. So, like, if I can do my highlighting and contouring while I'm doing my concealer in the, like, in the same thing, then I'm gonna do it. The, I love Urban Decay because they have a really light one. This one is fair, like it is light, and so I could highlight with this one too. Now the only thing with this one is, if you have dry under eyes, you have to know the difference between setting it and not setting it. 
This one, I would not set your under eyes if you have dry unders. And if you do, like barely, just barely lightly flick powder on because this one is a little more drying. And so if you put powder a lot on top of it and you have dry under eyes, it's just gonna cake on. Eyeshadow, I'm gonna start with single, like a single pot eyeshadow and then palettes. My single eyeshadow that I use the most from the drugstore is, and I don't even know what this is called, I'm gonna guess. It's Wet n Wild and I think it's called Creme Brulee or Cream Brulee or something. It's just a matte cream and I honestly use it all the time because I hate it when palettes come without a matte highlight shade because this is like a staple to me. I'll put on primer and then I'll put this on my whole lid because I have creasing because I have semi hooded eyes and so I have to set my primer with some things and this is what I'll use. So this is my most used drugstore eyeshadow and it I believe it's 99 cents wet and wild creme brulee something like that. My high end is this color right here. This is Swiss chocolate by MAC. This is the prettiest neutral shade. It is a brown red. I just think it's absolutely beautiful. It's such a versatile shade and I use that the most. So that is my single eyeshadow high end that I use. Now we're gonna go in with palettes. Drugstore palette is not, you can actually buy it at the drugstore, but it's drugstore prices. So I'm still gonna use it because I don't actually use a lot of drugstore palettes because I don't think they're that amazing yet. I, there could be one eventually, but not yet is the BH Cosmetics Carly Bible Palette. I believe, I bought this actually at Ulta for $14.99. I love everything about this palette except for this dark brown gray shade. It's not very pigmented at all, but that's okay. Everything else, I still, I love that the highlighters are in the palette. I actually use the highlighters for eyeshadow and the quality is so good. So blendable, so perfect. This highlight shade right here gives me life. I love it, I love it. All right, now high end is not going to be the Modern Renaissance palette. I know everybody, that's like everybody's favorite. While I do like that palette, that is not what I have been wearing mostly in 2016. The palette that I wore mostly in 2016 is my Lorac Unzip. It's just so beautiful, so easy to work with. I love that it's not very many shades, so if you're a beginner, you're not gonna be overwhelmed with, oh my gosh, what do I use? It's a couple matte shades, you know, there's the highlight, matte highlight shade, which I love, and then some really pretty rose gold and it's just, ugh. I love this palette. I'm actually wearing it today. This is my favorite high-end palette of 2016. All right, moving on to liners. I don't use high-end liners because I think the drugstore is just as good. I use the Maybelline gel liners, enough said. I have brown and black. And then I've been using the Physicians Formula Eye Booster 2-in-1. I mean, it's super thin. It does the job. All right, moving on to bronzer. Um, drugstore bronzer that I have used the most is, of course, my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I love that this is not super, super orangey because a lot of bronzers are tend to be orangey. I love the smell. I love that, I also kind of love that it's not uber pigmented. Like sometimes when you have something that's so pigmented, you'll dip your brush and then put it on your face and you've got this smudge and you're like, okay, now I gotta blend this thing out. I kind of like that you can work with this a little more. High-end bronzer is going to be my NARS Laguna. I had a little sample that I got in the summertime, I believe early summer, and I used it till it was gone and then repurchased the NARS Laguna. I love this, um, it's just my favorite. I use it every day. Blush. Okay, so my favorite drugstore blush. I also don't have a ton of drugstore blushes that I love. Um, except for I really love NYX cream blushes and my favorite is Boho Chic. It's just one of those shades that you can put with any eye color and it looks great and I love the formula of these. Favorite high-end blush would have to be the Dallas. I use this the most. Obviously you can tell I tend to go with neutral blushes the most. I do have a lot of fun bright blushes that I love but I go with neutral blushes the most and the one I use the most this year high-end was Benefits Dallas. Setting powder, I don't use a lot of setting powder because I have extremely dry skin, but sometimes there are a few foundations that I do need to set because they are very dewy and so I will set them 
And if I do, I usually use my Rimmel Stay Matte. Honestly, guys, this is the only powder I own. So, if you guys have any powders that you love that you think I would use for dry skin, let me know. Second thing that I use, and I've used it and it is like almost gone, but I'm going to scrape it all out, is the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. This is not the one that everyone uses on YouTube. This is the Secret Eye Brightening Powder. It looks white. And if I am going to set under my eyes, if I'm using a more emollient concealer, I will use this because it is so fine that it doesn't... Um, dry out my under eyes and I believe it has something in it that is supposed to enhance the brightness like it's light reflecting something like that but I love it it's almost gone and I will repurchase favorite setting sprays throughout the year I have been using my wet and wild and for a long time I said this is just as good as urban decay I love it just as much um I have to say I'm going to go retract what I said this is still a tad better than this this is so nice to make your, you know how you are kind of powdery at the end and you spray everything and it just melts into your face? That's perfect for this. This does make your foundation last a little bit longer. This one does not have like the little, you know how sometimes when you spray it, it can spray a little bit too much and you get like a big dot of water? This one can sometimes tend to do that. Um, this one does not at all. So I do like this one a little bit better. Mascara. My most used mascara ever is L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly. And the reason why is it's because my eyelashes touch on the end. Some people's don't, and I think that's awesome, but mine do. So to get my brush in the corner and like try, like I have to pull down my bottom eyelashes, it's just kind of ridiculous. So this brush works perfect because the corner has longer bristles and I can get right up under the base and pull up. And I just love it and I get the waterproof. Okay, um, my favorite high-end, and I have to say I don't wear high-end very often, so this is actually, um, I purchased this a while ago. I think I ran out this year at the beginning of the year, but I did use it all and I did love it, was the Dior Show Waterproof Mascara. I do like this, but I just think that drugstore is just as nice, and this was kind of expensive, so I may repurchase it. It was really nice, you know, maybe, but we'll see. But that is my favorite high-end. Alright, favorite drugstore highlighter is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Precious Petals. This is just absolutely beautiful. It's no longer limited edition. You can get it online. I'm not sure if they have it in stores, but you can get it online. I know that. So this is so pretty. It has almost that wet look, which I love. I love this highlighter. And my most used high-end one... And I had a lot, but this is probably my most used, is the Hourglass Iridescent Strobe Lighting Powder. I absolutely love it, especially if you get it a little bit wet. Like, I have my beauty blender and I'll dampen it and I'll put it in here and put it on wet. It's so pretty and it's subtle and it's almost like that pink iridescent color, which I love. Alright, now moving on to lipsticks for the drugstore. My most used of 2016 was Maybelline's Nude Lust. Obviously, you can tell I used it a lot. It's a beautiful nude. It's my perfect shade. I think everybody's nude is different depending on their skin tone. So this is my perfect nude shade. I absolutely love it. And yeah, I love it. My favorite high-end lipstick would have to be the Too Faced Marshmallow Bunny. I love the Too Faced formula. It's so creamy. And I love this pink. It's kind of a warm pink. You can tell I use it a lot. Okay, and then I'm gonna go with glosses. Favorite drugstore glosses is Mary Kay, so it's not technically drugstore, but it's only 10 bucks, so it's around drugstore price, is the Mary Kay At Play Jelly Lip Gloss in Petty Bear, like Bear, B-A-R-E. I love this lip gloss, but you cannot have your hair down because it is a very sticky lip gloss, but it lasts all day and your lips look so beautiful with this lip gloss on. And then my favorite high-end one, which is almost all gone, I'm sad, is Max Boy Bait. Oh, and I'll hold up the drugstore one. I don't know why I only show one. So they're basically like the exact same color, but this one is a thinner formula and doesn't, your hair won't stick to it. Okay, so now we are going to with liquid lipstick. Um, I do not have a favorite drugstore liquid lipstick. I have one now, the Wet n Wild ones, the Jordana ones, but they just came out and I don't feel like I can put that in my 2016 favorites because I just barely started liking them. So, my all-time favorite 2016 only one liquid lipstick is going to be 
Stila's Venencia. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I love this color. It is a pink orangey red. It is so beautiful. It is so creamy. I could wear this all day long. It is my favorite. I absolutely love it. So let's wrap this video up because it's already longer than I wanted it to be. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had an awesome 2016 and I look forward to all the new makeup that's coming out 2017 so we can make more favorites. Um, please like and subscribe down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye.